Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about Mike Tyson. Not about his boxing career or whether or not he is the greatest fighter of all time, but a different topic. Mike always had naturally a great physique, which became more refined as he rose through the boxing ranks and his training intensified. So the question is, would have Tyson made a good bodybuilder if he decided to focus on it instead of boxing? Tyson in his prime stood at a height of 5 foot 10 or 178 centimeters and a body weight of 216 pounds and 98 kilograms. At his height, it was calculated that Tyson could generate approximately 1,600 joules of energy with his punches, or the equivalent of being run over by a small motorbike traveling at 10 miles an hour. This tells us straight away that he was naturally a strong man. It has been noted that Mike Tyson could bench press approximately 200 pounds or 90 kilograms at the age of 12 or 13, and if true, would put him at the elite level for children. There are stories circulating about him being able to squat 500 pounds and bench pressing well over 300 pounds. However, there has been no evidence to that yet. The issue with that is that pure weight training and bodybuilding is not boxing specific. While boxers do utilize these compound exercises to help with power, it doesn't do much for them in regards to being able to deliver that knockout punch while bobbing and weaving. If these numbers are true, then perhaps Tyson would have been a great power lifter or even a very good weight lifter. Although he may have struggled to develop a big bench press because he had a very long set of arms for his height, arms that span longer than his actual height. And his daily training routine was grueling as well, as it spanned from 5 a.m. until 8 p.m. His actual weighted training consisted mostly of calisthenics. And get this though, his routine would be 2,000 sit-ups, 5 to 800 dips, 500 press ups, 500 shrugs using 66 pound barbells, and 10 minutes of neck work. These are crazy numbers, even for a world class athlete. With his cardio work, boxing, and calisthenics, he was still able to build a very impressive and balanced physique. So, innumerable sets and reps with a relatively light weight compared to real strength athletes like Olympic and powerlifters. Even with bodyweight exercises, Tyson had developed a very thick and broad chest, which was well defined and tied in well into his shoulders. Speaking of his shoulders, they were big, thick, well rounded from the side, front, and back. Tyson had big and powerful traps as well that tied into his neck and went as low as his lower back. He had the large traps, which is fairly common with the top elite level bodybuilders that you see on stage. His torso was also short, which gave him a much wider appearance. Together with well-developed and lean lats, it gave him a very nice and tapered look from his wide shoulders down to his narrow waist. The legs were big and had a nice outer quad sweep, which was proportional to his larger calves and didn't overpower the rest of his body. It's hard to find any shots of Mike's unless it's during training because he always wore boxing drawers, so his legs were mostly covered up. But there are a few and his wheels do look powerful and good. He was never overweight and has visible abs in his earlier photos. Mike Tyson was lean, but not shredded like we see people and athletes in general today. And the trends have changed over the years. With the introduction of social media, more and more people are pushing conditioning to the absolute extreme. So back in the day, Mike would have been considered very lean for a non-bodybuilder. Unlike the 1980s and the 1990s. Now, to his arms. Mike had big and powerful arms with higher bicep peaks, which would have been great for extra inches on the arms to complete that powerful sweep and an overall arm look. So my verdict is yes, Mike Tyson would have made a great bodybuilder because he was the right height, he was strong, and had muscle bellies that were shaped right and were proportional to each other. He would have probably used PEDs, so ultimately it's hard to gaze what his final form would have been. But I have a feel that he would have been a mixture of Johnny Jackson and maybe a bit of Phil Heath thrown into the mix. Hope you like it guys, let me know what you think.